Donald Trump was giving a roundtable for senior citizens earlier this week when he highlighted just how incompetent and unprepared he is to handle this global health crisis. Now, before Republicans jump in my comments to talk about how terrible the Democrats are, I agree with you on this issue. The Democrats completely bungled the corona response. De Blasio, Pelosi, Cuomo, they were all terrible, and I'm willing to admit that. I hope you are as well. But let's jump into Donald Trump's comments and see just how foolish uh, his words actually were. And our testing is so far advanced, it's so much bigger and better than any other country that we're going to have more cases. We're always going to have more cases. And as I said this morning, that's probably the downside of having good testing is you find a lot of cases that other countries who don't even test don't have. If you don't test, you don't have any cases. If we stop testing right now, we'd have very few cases, if any. Uh, we will show more, more cases when other countries have far more cases than we do. They just don't talk about it. But the testing, on the other hand, is very good because we find out where it's going, how it's going, who it's going to, and we take care of it. So do you see just how moronic those statements were? When you pick it apart, it gets even dumber. So in that clip, he says the downside of testing. Now, let me stop you right there, Donald Trump. There is no downside of testing. Absolutely zero downsides to testing. Not a single one. I can't think of any downsides uh, to understanding or evaluating whether or not there are people in your town, county, country that have this virus. So, no, there are no downsides to this. But he goes on to say that if you don't test, you don't have any cases. That is also not true. The tests show you whether or not the person has the virus or not. The person that has the virus is going to have the virus regardless of whether or not you test for it. So it's not true that if you don't test, you don't have a case. That's just, if you want to play that game, it's a semantic game. Technically, well, you know, technically the number of cases refers to positive tests. That's a stupid game and I don't want to play it. It just doesn't make any sense. There's no reason to have that conversation. You just test. You just test. It's not a competition. He says, well, other countries, well, if you look at other countries, they would have cases. Just test. It's not a competition between countries. Who has more and who has less? People are dying. People are literally dying. So once again, Donald Trump highlights just how uh, incompetent, unprepared, and uh, just what an awful leader he is with his recent statements. And I can only assume that it is downhill from here. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Agree or disagree, let's have a conversation. And subscribe to join the political revolution against mainstream media. CNN, MSNBC, Fox News, they're bought and paid for. Independent progressive media is the path forward. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.